na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo hamjambo mwadhani yagoshwa haleluya amen tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ye amekuwa mwema kwetu na ametuleta umbali huu na ningependa nikutangazia kwamba haja kuleta hapa buli every sunday there is a table the lord prepares for his people lakini ukija kwa njia ya kawaida njia ya kidini na mazoea you may miss to partake of what the lord has prepared for you i declare and declare that none of you is going to miss what the lord has prepared for us today because the lord has never gathered his people in vain in jesus name even the church without walls wherever you are watching from unasikiza kwa radio kwa tv kwa youtube kwa facebook i declare you are not going to miss the table the lord has prepared for us even them that are in the overflow halls may god bless you i declare and declare you are a partaker of the same grace in jesus name Bwana asifiwe sana. So kama vile nilivyosema Friday, uh, tungependa kurudia program yetu ya maombi uh, those who have been members of this church even before we started the prayer festival, you know that we were taking at least three days in the beginning of every month to lay a good foundation for the month. Bwana apewe sifa. Na unajua maisha ya Mkristo na safari hii inahitaji discipline kama vile ambavyo tutaweza kushiriki siku ya leo na kwa hivyo kama hakuna discipline frani ambao tumeweka it is possible for us to get out of the way even without knowing na kwa hivyo we should and we need to prepare for the uh, first week of march that is when we are going to have our first prayer uh, festival for the month uh, for the year 2021 itakuwa monday tarehe moja mpaka monday uh, mpaka sunday tarehe saba and i will be sharing on divine alignment on how you can be able to align yourself with god and also how we can be able to align our nation with God's plan and purpose so that the destiny of this nation will not be aborted bwana asifiwe sana ujumbe wa siku ya leo ninaongea juu ya the believers list the believers list remember as much as we have so many titles we are first of all believers in Christ praise the name of the living god the bible says in the book of john chapter 1 and verse 12 of that them that believed in him he gave them the power to become children of god yet to all who received him give us um, new king james version he, but as many as received him to them he gave uh, the light to become children of god uh, to those who believe to those who believe in his name praise the name of the living god sisi wote ni wana katika nyumba ya bwana kwa sababu tulimwamini kristo tunaweza kuwa majukumu ambayo mungu ametupatia yanatofautiana lakini lazima tutambue kwamba sisi wote ni wana kwa sababu tuliweza kumwamini na kwa hivyo sharing on the believers list kuna mambo ningependa tukaweze kuyaelewa yanayoweza kutusaidia you know you can be involved in something but you don't understand how it works praise the name of the living god hallelujah kuna watu wamekuja kwangu ananielezea apostle kuna uh, biashara tunafanya inaitwa ya forex unaweka pesa katika kompyuta unakaa hapo unafanya hivi sijui pesa inaingia uh, na mimi sijaielewa wengine siku hizi kuna anyway, kuna njia nyingi kuna mambo mengi unaweza unaweza kutoa umeingia kwa jambo sio kwa sababu wewe unanielewa pengine yule ambaye anakuelezea anaelewa ama pengine hata yeye haelewi anaelewa 25% praise the name of the living god na kwa hivyo ni dhahisi pia kuwa katika imani lakini bado haujaelewa hii imani inafanya kazi namna gani nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu imani ndani ya Yesu Kristo sio pata potea 
sio karata tunacheza praise the name of the living god imani ndani ya Yesu Kristo sio kubahatisha jina bana ipewe sifa Hallelujah. sio betting tunafanya Unajua betting imekuwa nyingi hata station zile ambazo ni za heshima zimejaribu kuingia katika betting but I have said that betting is ungodly uh, unanyonya pesa kwa watu masikini watoe dharadhini watoe hamsini. baadaye unapatia mtu moja 10000 na we unabaki na mamilioni it is not justified lakini imani ndani ya Yesu Kristo sio betting ni uhakika tulio nao ndani ya Kristo ya kwamba yeye ako na uwezo kamili wa kuokoa wale wote wanaokuja kwake kama tu tutaweza kuelewa imani hii wapendwa tutasimama vizuri na tutaona wokovu wa Bwana. Na kwa hivyo diposa Mungu ametupatia nafasi kama hii it is a very humble responsibility ya kufundisha na ili watu wakaweze kuielewa imani kwa njia ambayo ni nzuri zaidi. So today we are going to talk about the believers list. Na in the Bible especially in the epistles imezungumzia sana juu ya how we are in a list i remember uh, samias back a friend of mine pastor ambaye tulikuwa tunapitia mambo mazito na yeye tunaona kama hii imani haina faida tunajitoa kuomba kufunga kujitolea kufanya kazi ya Mungu lakini hakuna jambo linalofanyika na tukiwa katika ile hali Mungu akamuonyesha ndoto na ndoto ambayo aliyoiona akaona tuko katika safari watu wengi na you know their impressions ambazo unapata wakati uko katika ndoto angeona mahali ambapo tunaenda palikuwa ni mji ambao unaongaa na angeweza kuona mahali ambapo pia tumetoka na angeweza kuona ya kwamba mahali tumetoka ni mbali sana lakini mahali tulikuwa Safari ilikuwa imekuwa ngumu kidogo tumekaa chini. Wengine hata walikuwa merara flat. Wengine ungewasikiza walikuwa naongea juu ya kurudi. Lakini ukisikiza wale wanaongea juu ya kurudi, ni kana kwamba hawaelewi kurudi ni mbali sana. Afadhali hata waamini ya kwamba wapate nguvu kidogo kwa sababu wamebakisha nafasi kidogo waweze kufika. Na kwa hivyo wakati alipokuja akashare ile ndoto pamoja na mimi there were so many other personal details zilizo tuhusu kibinafsi nikajua ya kwamba Mungu anatuzungumzia tusikate tamaa katika safari ambayo tuko ndani yetu kwa sababu kama vile Biblia inasema katika Warumi tatu mstari wa moja ni ya kwamba wokovu wetu umekaribia sana kuliko wakati tulipoanza and do this understanding the present time the hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer than when we believe first believe wapendwa neno hili this word to me and as i was reading it this morning I realize it's more real this season and in the time we are living in than that time that our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed praise the name of the living god can somebody declare my salvation is nearer let's get back to that verse what does it say it tells us to come out from our slumber and do this understanding the present time the hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed praise the name of the living god the bible says uh, that we must wake up from our slumber Why do we wake up from our slumber because we understand the present time. Wapendwa ningependa kusema ya kwamba in the calendar of God 
we are living in a very strategic time unajua kuna kerere nyingi na mambo mengi yanayoendelea na inaweza kukupoteza kujua na kusikia Mungu anataka nini wakati huu lakini wale ambao wataelewa ya kwamba this is a very strategic time in the calendar of God they are going to connect with God's purpose and plan for their lives and their lives will never be the same again praise may you be among the number in Jesus name so Biblia imeongea juu ya this list in a few scriptures that we can read uh, from Galatians chapter 2 uh, verse 2 Galatians chapter 2 and verse 2 the Bible says I went in response to a revelation and set before the gospel that I preach among the Gentiles but I did this privately to those who seemed uh, to be leaders for fear that I was learning or I had learned my lace in vain. Paul anasema ya kwamba that I went to a response to a revelation and said before them the gospel that I preach among the Gentiles. Huh? But I did this privately. Huu ni wakati ambapo Paul alichukua nafasi ya kwenda to the senior disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ that were in James and Peter uh, na akaweza the Bible says he went privately na akawaambia ndugu zangu hii ndiyo injili ambayo Mungu amenipatia ufunuo na ndiyo injili ambayo ninayoihubiri Paul anasema ya kwamba alifanya hivyo kwa sababu aliogopa ya kwamba hizi mbio ninazo zikimbia zinaweza kuwa ni zabuli it is always important to check on your doctrine we have a big challenge today in the church because of doctrine wrong doctrines that are being taught in the church ambazo you can invest your money you can invest your time and finally only to discover that what you believed is not according to the true doctrine of the word of god so when you are in this race ni vizuri kucheck kuangalia doctrine yangu hii mambo nasikia ati hakuna fungu la 10 ilikuwa ni wakati wa Musa na wewe unashika doctrine kama hiyo na unaanza kukimbia naye si uogope kama Paul hii injili ambayo nasikia ati ya kwamba once saved forever saved haijarishi utafanya nini hii doctrine ambayo ninayoshika ni ya kuniokoa ama ni ya kunipoteza praise the name of the living god Paul alikuwa anamwambia Timotheo persevere in your doctrine so that you can be able to save yourself and save your hearers do you know when i persevere in what i believe i number 1 save myself number 2 i save you i save my hearers kwa sababu utasema hii mambo apostle alianza kuongea zaidi ya miaka 10 karibu miaka 20 imepita amekuwa akituambia hivi amekuwa akituambia hivi tumeona maisha yake yakibadilika tumeona vile Mungu amefanya katika kazi yake lazima hii injiri lazima hii doctrine ambayo huwa anatuambia ni ya kweli so Paul akamwambia Timothy persevere in your doctrine wacha kuamini mambo kwa sababu yanakupatia raha ama yanakusaidia ukae vile unavyotaka Paul akasema Nilienda na nika compare notes praise the name of the living god with the other senior disciples nikaweka injiri ambayo nilikuwa naihubiri ili waweze kuangalia ni sije mbio zangu ninazokimbia ni zabuli kuna watu wapendwa wanampenda mungu but unfortunately their less is in vain hakuna mahali wanaenda kwa sababu Ma, mafundisho wanayoyaamini sio ya kweli wanampenda Mungu dio wanatamani njia za Mungu lakini 
wamewekwa katika msingi ambao si wanenwa Mungu. Let's read um, the same book of Galatians chapter 5 and verse 7 if you can give us one, uh, two three more scriptures so that we can understand this reason. You are running a good list. Who cut you in on you and kept you from obeying the truth? Sasa Paul anauliza wa Galatia ya kwamba mlikuwa mnakimbia mbio nzuri nani aliingia who cut you in on you and kept you from obeying the truth hii ni ishara ya kwamba mtu anaweza anza vizuri lakini baadaye kukawa na mambo yameingia akawa kuna mafundisho yamekuja mageni ni vizuri kuweza kuona ya kwamba mbio unazo zikimbia there is no one ambaye ataweza kuja kuingia katika zile mbio na kukupotosha we can also read in the book of um, uh, let's read uh, the, the, uh, second timothy chapter 4 and verse 7 uh, second timothy chapter 4 and verse 7 we always make it reference wakati wa mazishi inaandikwa kwa msalaba inaandikwa kwa uoroje ama kwa ile bronchua ambayo inatumika wakati ule inasema i have fought the good fight i have finished the race i have kept the faith Verse 8, we can lead us of verse 8. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appealing. I love verse 7, and I have said we always quote it many times, hata ukienda mazishi ya mtu ambaye alikuwa na kunywa pombe uh, na alikuwa na bibi watano na alikuwa anafanya mambo ya kila aina unakuta ya kwamba first Timothy chapter 4 verse 7 imeandikwa pale chini hata yeye anasema i have fought the good fight shame on you you must fight the good fight to quote this verse in Jesus name tuaje kuandika maandiko for the sake ukiwa kwa kamati hiyo mazishi Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Waambie wasiadike hii kama hakukimbia mbio nzuri. I have fought the good fight. I have finished what? The race. I have kept the faith. Praise the name of the living God. May God help you my brother, my sister that you may be able to fight the good fight. That tells you in this race there are battles to be fought. There are battles to be won. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I have learned the race. And I have kept the faith. Keeping the faith. Doctrine. When we are talking about this race, what are we talking about? What is this list all about? It is all about uh, your prophetic destiny. The race is all about uh, my prophetic destiny. There is a prophetic destiny for each one of us. Everyone born of a woman has a divine purpose to fulfill uh, in this life and finally to be ushered to eternity. Praise the name of the living God. So when we talk about the laser, we are talking about our prophetic destiny. Kwa hivyo hizi mbio ninazo kimbia nataka nifike mahali mungu walikusudia number one nifike katika maisha haya and number two niingie katika uzima wa milele. Praise the name of the living God. Because you see, first Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8, in at ongea juya the awards. The awards. Ambazo zitapatianwa baada ya finishing the race. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8. Uh, the awarding, you know, after every race, people are awarded with medals, gold medals, bronze, silver. Um, no, second Timothy 4, 8, please. Where we have just led. Uh, four, eight. 
Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all those who have longed for his appearing. That means the awards will not be given in a first stadium. That means the awards or rewards of this race will not be given in this life. They will be given when he appears. That means until you appear then, you have not won the race. Kwa sababu, razima upatikane. Mtu ambaye ni mshindi. Razima apatikane wakati wa medo na avalishwe medo yake. Na medo zetu hazitavalishwa katika maisha haya. Zitavalishwa when he appears in his second coming. Bwana asifuwe sana. So the list concerns your prophetic destiny in this life and then ushered to eternity when you are going to receive our rewards. Ambazo ni za milele na milele na milele. Nani anafurahia kuwa katika imbio? Mi nafurahia kuwa katika hizi imbio. And there are times I think, you know, you cannot be in a list. Let me tell you. Hata wale hukimbia katika imbio, in mind, kuna wakati wanafikiria sasa, wacha niweke bidi ni pate hitha habu. So hata katika hizi imbio, kuna wakati unasema buwana nisaidie. Naona kwa Thawabu nitakayo ipata Nikiendelea kusimama katika utakatifu Nikiendelea kuwa muaminifu Na makusudi yako Amba umenia minia So it's always good to have uh, 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 Rewards in mind It's not something that is out of this world It always happens Wakati watu wanashindana wanajua Hii mpira kama tutashinda hapa Tunaingia kuota finals Tunaingia semi finals Hatutaki kupoteza. Na wewe wakati unakimbia hizi mbio. Ni vizuri ndani yako unajiambia. Ni kishinda hapa. Ni kienderea kumtumikia mungu. Ni kisimama katika uaminifu. Unaona thawabu yako. Na ambayo haitakuwa ya munda mfupi. Itakuwa ya milele na milele na milele. Praise the name of the living God. So na hiyo inatokana pia na kuishi maisha haya. Ukitamani mbio. Kufika your prophetic destiny And let me tell you People don't get to their prophetic destiny Because God has spoken No It, it always it, it also takes you apart For the prophetic To be fulfilled The prophetic cannot be fulfilled If you don't pray You are alone The Bible says in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1 in verse 18, Paul was telling Timothy that, um, um, Timothy, my son, I give you this instruction in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by following them, you may fight the good fight. That means uh, holding on to faith. Let's read verse 19, holding on to faith and a good conscience. Some have rejected this. And so have sheep let their faith. Okay, verse 18 is key that uh, when you have a prophetic word over your life, Paul was telling Timothy that these prophecies is so that by following them, you may fight the good fight. Whatever God desires to do with your life, razima na wewe ukubali kuhusika. And that is why in this list, razima ujue, what is my part? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to respond? And that is why we are going to read uh, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. And from that um, one verse, we are going to get four important points. And then we are going to finish. And these four important points, they concern uh, how we are supposed to run this race as believers. Hebrews chapter 12, and verse 1, 12, verse 1. The Bible says, uh, therefore... Since we are surrounded by such a great crowd of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us learn 
with perseverance the list marked out for us. Let us read in King James. Where foreseeing we also are compassed about with, with so great a crowd of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us learn with patience the list that is set before us. Wacha tuangalie mambo maine hapo ambayo yanaweza kutusaidia in this race. Number one um, is the motivation of the list is that there is a great crowd of witness. You know when you, um, you, are, you are going to chapter 12 of, of uh, Hebrews, you, behind you is chapter 11, which is a, um, we call it the hallmark of faith. The hall of faith. Mahali ambapo tunaona wateule ambao waliweza kusimama akina Noah, akina Ibrahim, akina Meshach, Shadak, and Abednego wengi wameandikwa katika uh, Hebrews chapter 11. Sasa tunapo ingia Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1, inasema ya kwamba, because we are surrounded by a crowd of witnesses. Yani ni kumanisha ya kwamba, your motivation ni kuangalia wengine walio simama na wakaweza kupata thawabu yao. Ama wanangojea thawabu yao pamoja na sisi. Wale ambao wameenda katika michezo, unajua ya kwamba katika michezo iwe ni mpila, iwe ni wakati waliyadha, kuna mahali mtu anafika anachoka. Tuseme uliko unakimbia uh, mbio za kilomita kama arubaine. Na pengine umebakisha kilomita kama tatu. Mahali pale umechoka. Unasikia hawezi yata kuinua mgu. Lakini ukisikiriza watu maerfu wanao kushangiria. Hata kama hauko unaweza kuinua mgu Zire shangwe ha? Ile motivation Ya watu wale ambao wana kuzunguka Inakufanya hata kama kahasho ilikuwa inauma Unaishikiria ukikimbia Kwa sababu you don't want to let them down Wana kushangiria One of the reasons we read the word of God Ni kuona wengine walio enda berezetu Na kuangalia vile walivyo simama in the face of trial and persecution, in the face of need and lack in their lives. Rakini bado wakasimama, na we unasema ya kwamba, bona mimi nisiweze kusimama. That is why we read the word of God. Na kwa hivu unapo soma neno la mungu, ni vizuri kuangalia kwamba there is a, a great crowd of witnesses. Philippians 3.17 also Inatuonyeshe ya kwamba pia tunaweza kuangalia watu ambao wanaishi wakati wetu. The Bible says, brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. So Paul anasema ya kwamba be followers together of me. Yani Paul anasema munifuate mimi. Na muangalie wengine katikati yenu Ambao wanaifuata hii imani Na mkaweze kusimama Do you know and I, and, I, and I believe Some of us have done that many times Kuna wakati I look upon Men and women of faith Ambao wako hai Na wananitia moyo Kuendelea kusimama Katika imani yangu. Nikikumbuka maisha yao. Vile wamejitoa kwa mungu. Ninasema huma mai. To fail God. If so and so have stood for God. Who am I? Mimi ni nani? Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo ni kumanisha ya kwamba. There are witnesses. There is a crowd of witnesses. Of people who have passed on to glory. Na kwa hivyo tunapo angalia by faith, tunapo angalia walivyo simama, 
na sisi tunasema tutasimama praise the name of the living god kuna wengine they are our brothers they are our mentors they could be our pastors our spiritual fathers tunapoangalia they could be even prayer partners you could even be having a friend na na ku challenge i remember my uh, uh, life as a believer when i gave my life to christ the people who challenged me were fellow young believers when i look at their prayer life when i look at their commitment niko anasema na mimi ni nani kama na wao wamejitoa hivyo kwa mungu nikaanza kujitoa and here am I, I am today why kwa sababu niliangalia wengine walikuwa wanamfuata Kristo and they motivated me in this list they are motivators praise the name of the living god some motivators have already passed on to glory but when we read about them in the word of god and we see how they stood for god in their generation na sisi tunasema ya kwamba tutasimama wengine motivators you know some of you you are motivators but you don't know you are a motivator when you stand for the kingdom when you stand for righteousness and holiness you are a motivator some of you you may not know how many people you have motivated but when you get to heaven you receive a reward because of the people you motivated may god cause me to be a motivator may god me cause me to inspire many people to love god to serve god to be more dedicated praise the name of the living god and that is why some of us we should not take our eyes for granted kurudi kwako nyuma kunaweza kuaffect maisha ya watu wengi sana kwa sababu kuna wengine wanakuangalia hawakuambi lakini wanaangalia your way of life and they are motivated even in their discouragement even when they feel that they want to give up when they look at you and your commitment and your dedication and your perseverance wanaona hata mambo umevumilia wanasema kama fulani oh amesimama na mimi nitasimama praise the name of the living god Hallelujah. May God raise more motivators in our time uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, who are going to become role models uh, in the faith uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every time you read the word of God, may you be able to locate a motivator. Yeah? When you read the word of God, may you be able to locate a motivator ambaye unasoma juu yake. Na unasema kwa sababu ya huyu I have some motivators in the word of God. People like David. Although alikuwa na makosa aliyofanya, maisha ya David huwa yananimotivate sana. Praise the name of the living God. Imani yake ndani ya Mungu. Upendo wake na kutamani Mungu katika maisha yake. Bibi nasema Bwana mkubuke Daudi wakati alifanyika mfalme alisema sitaingia kwa nyumba yangu nyumba gani palace sitaingia kwa kitanda changu paka nimtafutie bwana mahali the ark of the covenant in the time of Saul was neglected but when david became a king kasema siingii kwa palace lazima saduku la agano he is a motivator to my life praise the name of the living god yani mtu amebarikiwa kiwango hicho lakini anasema siingii katika comfort zone. Watu wakibarikiwa kidogo. You know some people even in this place. Wanafikiria nikupata manyumba tu. Wanafikiria nikipata magari. Wanakifikiria nikiwa na milioni tano kwa account. That is all about the list. No. The list is about your prophetic destiny. It is about your purpose in life. So Daudi akusema ya kwamba sasa vile nimefika mahali pa kuingia kwa Paris na nimefika kuwa mfalme ya kwamba sasa nitulie hapana Alisema mimi niko na kusudi lililofanya Mungu anichague kuwa mfalme Mungu alinitolea ushuhuda that I am a man after his own heart Why should I change kwa sababu amenibariki sitabadilika 
So they are motivators when we lead the word of God. They are people who motivate us. Now I to idea to continue in this race. Now I to idea to faithful. Mtu kama Paul. Ah. Mungu amemuinua. Na anasema I considered everything as rubbish. Wakati nilikuwa nawaacha kazi, maandiko hayo yalikuwa yananitia nguvu sana. Paul anasema ndio na mambo yote kama mafi, kama takataka. Dio ni mpate Kristo na uzuri ulio ndani yake. Ni mjue na nguvu zilizomfufua. Praise the name of the living God kutoka kabulini. Wapendwa, they are motivators ambao tunafaa kuangalia. Tuone vile walivyosimamia Mungu na sisi tuseme ya kwamba na mimi nitasimama. Number 2 in that verse uh, we are in uh, Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. And this is where we are going to finish now. Number two, Hebrews 12 verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great crowd of witnesses. In this race, remember, there is a great crowd of witnesses. Wakumbuke. Kumbuka Joseph. Ambaye alisema, wewe mke wa Potiphar, siwezi kurara na wewe. Bona ni mkose mungu. They are the crowd here that are surrounding us. Number two, let us draw off every weight that hinders and the sin the soul is entangles. Hapo kuna mambo mawiri. The Bible says, we draw off the weight and the sin the soul is entangles. So we are going to look at the, the two together because there are some similarities. So we are going to look at the weight and the sin. So when you see another T learning, the writer they are, the faster they can be. The writer they are, the faster they can be. And let me tell you, in this life, there is a demonic strategy to put a lot of weights upon the lives of believers. Unajua kuna wakati shetani anakuangalia anaona vile uko determined kuendelea na hii safari anaona vile umekata kauli anaona vile umejitoa anasema huyu ha, kumtoa katika hii safari ni ngumu lakini ninajua hata gari ikiwa mbio kabla haujaisimamisha una slow down una slow down so huyu kile nitakachofanya Nitam slow down. Na vile nitakavyo slow down, ni kuweka weights juu ya maisha yake. Weights are things that come from outside. Sin that entangles, it comes from within. So uzito ni mambo. Hata mtu wakiwa na uzito, ni sema jana, uh, juzi, uh, Sasa ni juzi kwa Friday kesha ama ilikuwa already Saturday. Okay, whichever. Nikasema wakati tulipokuwa shule tulikuwa tunaenda cross country, shule nzima tunafunguliwa, tunakimbia sehemu mbali. Tukitoka tuko wengi, tuko na ile moli, na ile unaona wewe ndio utakuwa number 1. Sasa mkitoka mnakuta watu wengine kwa barabara, wengine hawajui nini naendelea. Wengine ni mzee amevaa kiatu ya bare bottom. Sasa anajaribu na yeye kukimbia. Anapokimbia kidogo mwingine anataka kukimbia for fun, ameona wanafunzi wakikimbia. Lakini akikimbia 500 meters, ile kiatu yake ya bare bottom, soro imeenda nje. Unamuona hapo amesimama kando na viatu zake. Unakuta mama alikuwa anatoka kusiaga unga, ako na chondo yake. Hajui nini anaendelea na yeye anaanza kukimbia. Anakimbia kidogo. Baadaye anasema dira hanyu kia ke. Nini hii nakimbiza na hii unga yangu na kwa sababu ya uzito anaobeba hawezi kimbia unakuta kuna vijana wameshikana group wanaweka pace wanasema mosmos wacha wale wanataka kukimbia msisimko wakimbie lakini sisi tutaweka pace ambayo itatusaidia mpaka wakati tutakapomaliza wapendwa katika hizi mbio you know mtu ambaye anaingia katika mbio 
kushughulikia uzito as a priority kabla hajakimbia sio uanze kuingia tu kwa mbio na uko na mauzito umebeba lazima ushughulikie uzito katika maisha yako kuna watu wanajaribu kukimbia hii mbio lakini angeshughulikia the layers za mangua ambazo wamevaa atoe jacket atoe sweta ndani atoe shati ingine, atoe t-shirt ingine ndani abaki na kavest hiyo ndiyo itakayomsaidia katika hizi mbio wapendwa shetani anaweza kukuwekelea mizigo na hii mizigo inaweza kuwa uzito wa kukimbia wacha nikupatie mfano wa mizigo ambayo watu huwa wanabeba katika maisha yao mizigo inaweza kuja in form of a and forgiveness ya mambo yalifanyika katika maisha yako na kuna watu haujaweza kuachilia let me know because let me tell you because there is a spiritualist you may know or you may not know it but when you are walking with unforgiveness it is a weight in your life when there is bitterness in your heart na unasema huyo sitamsamehea vile alivyonifanyia baba ya watoto wangu my mother in law my my pengine somebody you had partnership in business unasema sitawahi kumsamehea you may not know but that is a weight in your life utakuwa unaamka kila asubuhi ndio uko na vision ya kwenda bali but every time you feel like you want to move there is a weight that is hindering you Razima ujue jinsi ya kudeal na weights katika maisha ya, ya, yako. Paul alisema ya kwamba in Philippians akasema one thing I do I forget what is behind. Give us Philippians 3:13. Mambo yaliyofanyika. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead verse 14 i press on toward the goal to win the prize which god has called me heavenward in christ jesus so paul anatupatia siri yake ya kupress on forgetting what is behind wapendwa we have to deal with every weight ambayo inatokana na mambo yaliyofanyika some of the failures wengine tuliingia kwa biashara tukapoteza pesa nyingi mpaka siku ya leo ukikumbuka hilo jambo unakuwa pengine na bitterness na Mungu Mungu kwa nini uliachilia nikaingia kwa hili jambo sasa unakuta ya kwamba there are weights in your life some of them you are not able even to forgive yourself kwa sababu ya mambo yaliyofanyika in the past Pengine uliingia katika dhambi wewe ni dada ukapata mtoto kila wakati unaangalia huo mtoto hata kama unaenda kumshukua kwa shule pengine ni kijana ama msichana na mnatembea naye kwa barabara anaonekana kama unampenda ule mtoto sana Dio pande moja uko na upendo lakini pande ingine bado unasema hii ngombe wewe ndio unazuilianga maisha yangu iendelee lakini mtoto Muko naye pale kwa pale na unamwonyesha unampenda lakini kuna saidi moja yake ukiangalia unaona giza na unasema wewe ndio unafungianga maisha yangu kwa sababu kila mwanaume akija kwangu akigundua niko na mtoto anaondoka na that can be a weight yeah? na usipoweka hiyo weight chini tutakuwa tunaomba siku saba tunaomba na moja tunaomba themanini Unajua hapa tukianza kukimbia. Ha? Niseme saa hizi tutakimbia mpaka wapi? Mpaka Barnabas. Tukisema tutakimbia hapa mpaka Barnabas saa hizi. Kuna watu kama osewe hapa nitamuona ameanza kutoa hii koti, ameweka tai kando, ha? Kuna wadada nitaona anashindwa hivi viatu nitawacha wapi? Mwingine atashughulika na mfuko kwa sababu anajua hapa mahali kama nitakimbia 
praise the name of the living God. Kuna uzito razima niweke chini. The problem we have in this kingdom, kuna watu they have never been able to discover the weights. Sasa kiri ambacho wanafanya, they are going slowly. They are almost stagnant. There is no progress in their lives. And they are wondering, why am I not able to make any progress? Mpendoa. Ukiambiwa ukimbia na uko na mtungi wa 20 liters na 20 liters. Utakimbia na mnagani, utaenda pole pole. Utaenda a short distance. Wengine watakupita. Buwana pewe sifa. In the year 2021, and in this decade, may you deal with every weight in your life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh my God. Wengine ukifunguliwa vile unawaona wazuri hapa. Ukifunguliwa macho katika ulimwengu wa roho. They are calling a lot of baggage. Wangapi umeona ukipata ataki ya kimawazo upoteze mawazo yako watu wale wanatembea barabarani. Nani ameona wengi wao huwa wanabeba vitu mingi na hazina maana? Unaona mtu anagekonia kinene na dagetigaga. That is the work of the devil. Kazi ya shetani ni kubebeza watu mizigo. Wasiweze kwenda katika mbio zimewekwa mbele yao. Naweka kila mzigo chini katika maisha yako. Unaweza kuu meubeba kwa miaka tano, miaka kumi, miaka kumi na tano, miaka ishirini. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in the year 2021, read down every weight. Our salvation is nearer than when we believed. Praise the name of the living God. We need to gather our last energy so that we can be able now to give this laser our final straw. Na kama tutafanya hivo, razima kila uzito ambao uko katika maisha yetu tuweze kuachiria. You can be a believer, but there are weights that you are carrying. Another way that you can be un- that you can be calling is a weight of unrealistic success. Huh? Zamani wakati kwa tunaomba tukiwa vijana na tunatamani kumtumikia Mungu. Na nimeona watu wengi ambao walikuwa katika hiyo hali wamejikoa. Kuna watu kila wakati tukikaa wanaongea mambo ya baraka wanaongea juu ya mambo makubwa Mungu atafanya but in the spirit nikisikiza ninaona this is not where we are supposed to concentrate we, are, we have so much concentration on unrealistic success tutaenda mataifa tutafanya let me tell you unrealistic success can be a weight in your life do you know and I have discovered this in my life, that for you to succeed, you don't focus so much on success, but you focus so much on the principles of success. Because they are principles. Because if you are obsessed with success, and you are doing nothing about it, utakuwa tu vile wanasemanga ya kwamba, if wishes were horses, even beggars would light. So utakuta kwamba you are just there wishing kama ningekuwa na jabu fulani kama Mungu angenitumia hivi unrealistic success na inaweza fika mahali ikawa kikwazo wapendwa mimi moyo wangu maisha yangu my wife knows mimi ni mwepesi na mimi huwa nasema mimi hata ukinibeba na motorbike hapa nitakuja na nihubiri Mimi hata ukiniweka katika nyumba ya single room bado nitaendelea na maisha na nitaendelea kumtumikia Mungu kwa furaha. Sina uzito nimebeba atinafikiria mambo makubwa sana juu yangu. Hapana, I have a vision. But nime avoid unrealistic weight ya success kwa sababu nimeona ikiwe down watu wengi. Mambo yasipofanyika. Ha? Huh? Vile walivyotarajia wanakuazika 
na hiyo inakuwa ni uzito ambao wameubeba katika maisha yao. Si Mungu akusaidie siku ya leo uweke uzito wote chini and you say oh to all to Jesus I surrender from today. I'll fix my eyes unto him who is the other that is what the Bible says in the next verse fix your eyes unto Jesus who is the other and the finisher of your faith. The Bible says ya kwamba we set our minds on things above. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Number three here, about to mesema kwa mba, there are a lot of similarity is seed. Kuna dhambi ambayo, bibi nesema, it entangles. It entangles. Ama inakuzinga kwa upesi. Hapa vile pola ambavyo uh, anajaribu kutuerezea kwa mba, when you are caught in a sin, how many people know and we always, because of the fallen nature, we have these experiences. Ya kwamba wakati umeanguka katika jaribu radhambi, unasikia ya kwamba umekuwa mnyonge, umekuwa mdhaifu, umekuwa mchafu, na unasikia nao, I have a lot of baggage to deal with because I am caught into this thing. It's not about running now. It is about dealing with this mess. So the Bible says the sin that so easily entangles. Why does this sin so easily entangles? Because it is something that is within you. Huh? Bibi nasema ata shetani anapo kujaribu. Ana kujaribu kulinga anatama zilizo ndani yako. Kuna watu anajua mimi ukasirika. Na hasira yangu ni mtego kwangu. Na unajua ukikasirika utaongea, utafanya mambo, baadae utakaa chini. Ujiulize ni tanzia wapi niendele na hii safari. Wangapi wanajua kwamba wakati mungu alimuita Musa, alikuwa afikishe watu wana wa Israeli katika inchi ya hadi. Lakini walifika mahali katika mulima, mungu waka umuambia, ne kule ya nodogo dhie, ni kule lakini hasira yako. Bwana siwe sana. Let me tell you, and we don't have a lot of time. It is very, very unfortunate that the character of a man can cause God to change the prophetic destiny of his life. Your character can cause God to change your prophetic destiny. And that is why men like Joseph said, I cannot sin against my God. This can affect my prophetic destiny. That is why God said to people like uh, in the book of 1 Samuel, if you can read very quickly, 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 30, 1 Samuel, we see how prophetic destinies can be changed because of character. Uh, 1 Samuel 2, 30, the Bible says, Therefore the Lord, the God of Israel, declares, I promised that your house and your father's house would minister before me forever. But now the Lord declares, Far be it from me. Those who, de- who, those who honor me, I will honor. But those who despise me will be disdained. Let's continue verse 31. The time is coming when I will cut short your strength and the strength of your father's house so that there will not be an old man in your family line. Ukiangali haya ni maneno ya liyo nenewa nyumba ya Eli ambayo ilikuwa imetoka nyumba ya Aaron. Mungu anasema vastate very important. Hili ni neno nilisoma a few years ago. Lilitetemesha. You know there are words you read when you are in the spirit. Zika tetemesha moyo wangu. Ya kwamba mungu anaweza kukuahidia hati mafurani. Lakini baadae, abadilishe. Hata wakati unasemanga God is not the son of man that he should change. Alright. Therefore the Lord, the God of Israel declares, I promised your house and your father's house would minister before me forever. But now, the Lord declares, far be it from me. Those who honor me, I will honor. But those who despise me will be disdained. Mungu anasema, ndiyo, niliyahidi. Rakini sasa, mambo hile umekubaria kufanya, na unakubaria wanao, wafanye. Siyo ya kuniyashimu. Sasa hile nilikuwa ni meahidi, iwe mbali na mimi. Your character, can cause God to change your prophetic destiny. 
And that is why we are going to have a season of divine alignment. Do you know there is a way you can align yourself with God? And your life flourishes as if the devil does not exist. Kuna nchia maisha yako unaweza kuyambatanisha na mungu. Maisha yako unaishi ni kama hakuna shetani. Unasikianga watu wakiongea na shetani ni mbaya. Shetani yu anatesa watu. Paka unauliza na ama koraga ku. Ana wakutanga wapi. Because of the way you have aligned yourself with God. You progress as if the devil does not exist. Wapendwa, your character can cause God to change your prophetic destiny. And that is why kama kuna dhambi inayo kanda ni yetu. Musa alikuwa aingia katika inchi ya hadi. Lakini ya kuingia. Alimuonyesha. Lakini ya kamuambia hasira yako. Ninini hiyo inakanda ni yako. Ninini hiyo ambayo unajua. Hua unaendelea vizuri kwa mwaka moja, kwa miezi tatu, kwa mwezi moja. Arafu inakuja inaingia. You may not be an addict of pornography. But once in a while, it entangles you. You may not be in sexual immorality, but unajua ya kwamba, naweza kata mezi sita, naweza kata mwaka moja, lakini, Daudi ya likuwa na mpenda mungu, lakini ya lipo anguka, alisema, I was conceived in sin from birth. This is something that was inside me. And that is why I have taught for many years about dealing with foundations. Mambo ya nayo kaa, dani ya watu, ya nangojia wa inuke, ya nawaleta chini. Ninini hiyo katika maisha yako. Wapendwa, hizi mbio. Vire mwanaliyadha, anajianda, anatoa koti. Anaweka viatu, ambavyo ni nyepesi. Hivyo ndivyo mukristo anakfaa kukaa chini angalie maisha yake na aseme ni uzito gani ninabeba ni dhambi gani nayo kanda ni yangu inaweza kunishika kwa upesi and uh, the last one number 4 bibi nasema ya kwamba and then you run the list with perseverance or endurance what is perseverance or endurance Endurance is the ability to go through a difficult or unpleasant process. That ability. As a Christian, as a believer, there must be that tenacity. A long distance laser will also will always demand for more stamina. Na kuna watu ambao Na mmeona especially wakati kuna lace kubwa ya kilomita 21.40. You may find at the starting point, watu wale wako pale ni wengi kuliko wale tuko hapa kanisani siku ya leo. The starting point, musisimuko. Watu wengi wanataka kukimbia. But at the finishing point, you count one, two, Ha? Unangoja mwingine? Wale wengine walienda wapi? They were not able to endure. They were not able to persevere. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. That is why the Bible says in the last days where we are already, they will be falling away from the faith. Hizo siku za muisho. Hizo mbio tukija kumalizia. Kabla ya Yesu kurudi mara ya pili. Watu wengi watakosa stamina. Itakuwa ni kama wakati Ezekaya aliangalia kasema huu ni kama wakati wa matukano. Watoto wamefika wakati wa kuzaliwa. Lakini hakuna nguvu. Mungu amekusudia kufanya mambo makubwa. This is a strategic time in the calendar of God. But many Christians are growing weary. Many Christians are giving up. Many Christians, they don't have the strength to pick their leg and wake up in the morning and continue calling upon the name of the Lord. Wamechoka. 
praise the name of the living God. I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that uh, you're not going up to be among the number who are going to fall away from the faith. Wale watashindwa kumaliza mbio hautakuwa moja wao. Si Mungu akupe neema, si Mungu akupe nguvu. Wengine utafikiria ni mawazo yako, lakini ni sauti za kimapepo ambazo zinakuuliza umefaidika na nini? Hii maombi imekusaidia na nini? Ndio umetembea katika utakatifu miaka hii yote umesaidika na nini sauti za kimapepo ambazo zinataka uondoke katika mbio ninazinyamazisha wewe hautasikiza hizo sauti katika jina Yesu Kristo fix your eyes unto Jesus who is the other and the finisher of your faith in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus katika barabara wakati mwingine na naona kuna watu wanasimama wanarushia mtu glucose wanarushia mtu maji anajimwagiria kwa kichwa anakunywa kidogo na hata ile chupa anaona ni uzito anaitupa lakini kuna watu wa kuleta refreshing me god refresh you today me this word refresh you today in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus wake up from your slumber our salvation is near than when we believed in the mighty name of Jesus our king is coming soon he is not coming for a defeated church he is coming for a glorious church in the mighty name of Jesus I hear the sound of the rain because there is a mighty revival there is a mighty outpouring that God is going to release in our time in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, oh my God, uh, I decree and declare, you're not going to miss this rain. Uh, you're not going to miss this revival. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I arrive you. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, back to God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, He who called you is faithful. He who began a good work in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we will bring it to completion. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I cut off every weight. Uh, kila baganda baboshi rebegenda reka baganda wale kumekuwa na uzito uzito angalia roho mtakatifu akusaidie kuona ni nini hii umebeba nini hii umebeba tamaa ya mambo ya dunia wacha dunia na mambo yale tunayaona yatapita wengine kwa sababu ya kutamani mambo mengi imekuwa uzito kwa sababu umedanganyika ya kwamba Mungu ametuokoa kwa sababu babu tu ya maisha haya Paul anatuambia kama Mungu ametuokoa tu kama imani yetu ni kwa sababu tu ya maisha haya sisi ni watu wa kuhurumiwa wapendwa tuko katika safari na Mungu akionelea vema akupatie neema akupatie utajiri akupatie mashamba the bible says seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things they shall be added to you akiona kile anafaa akuongeze oh my god siku nataka kusoma hii portion of scripture kwa sababu ya wakati lakini wacha nisome haraka second kings chapter 8 from verse 7 we are going to read uh, that portion of scripture uh, kwa sababu na himizika ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kuangalia moyo wa mtu na aone huyu hata nikimpatia haya yote haitamsumbua The Bible says uh, Elisha went to Damascus and Ben Hadad king of Aram was ill when the king was told the man of God has come all the way up here He said to Hazael take your gift you go to meet the man of god consult the lord through him ask him will i recover from this illness as i went to meet elisha taking with him uh, as a gift for the camel roads uh, of all the finest wares of Damascus uh, he went in and stood before him and said your son ben hadad king of aram has sent me to ask uh, will i recover from the in, uh, from this illness elisha answered go away and said to him you certainly recover but the lord has revealed to me that he'll in fact die he stared at me with a fixed grazer until Hazael felt ashamed then the man of god began to weep 
Why is my Lord weeping? Asked Hazael. Because I know the harm you are going to do to the Israelites. He answered her, you set a fire to their fortified places. Kill their young men with a sword. Dash their little children to the ground. And leap open the pregnant women. Hazar said, how could your servant, a mere dog, accomplish such a feat? Then the Lord, uh, the, uh, the Lord has shown me that you become king of Aram, answered Elisha. Kwa ufupi, hapa ni Ben Haddad, mfalme wa Damascus ni mgonjwa. Na kwa sababu alikuwa na jua ya kwamba, uweza wangu wa kutawara, umetokana na mungu. Akamuambia mtumishi wake moja ambaye alikuwa na hituwa Hazar, kama pie wake. Akamuambia kimbia. Na pengine unajua watu, wana kuanga na mambo mengi ya, ya kutazama Mungu akafikiria nikipatiana some gifts utajiri wa Damascus pengine nitanunua uponyaji wangu lakini wakati Hazael alipoenda Raisha akamuuliza umekuja kufanya nini akaelezea akamwambia nimeonyeshwa ya kwamba your master uh, will recover but uh, atakufa Wangapu wanajua ukiona mtu amepona sio kumaanisha ya kwamba hata kufa. Kuna watu wengi ambao unaona ni kama amepona, lakini siku ile ambapo amekuwa pengine inakoma, amekuwa ICU, anatoka ICU anaanza kuongea the following day diwa nakufa. Akaambiwa atapona lakini atakufa kwa sababu wakati wake wa kufa umefika. Sometimes we see a sickness as a reason of death. Lakini hata sickness ikiondoka if your time has come. The Bible says it is appointed. Uh, it is written the number of your days. Lakini wakati Elisha alimpatia Hazael huo ujumbe akamwangalia Hazael na Mungu akamuonyesha sasa maisha ya Hazael. Mambo ya Ben Hadad imeisha. Na wakati Elisha alimwangalia akaanza kulia. Hazael akamuuliza, "Bona, bwana wangu unalia?" Akamwambia, "Mungu amenionyesha Mambo yale utakayofanyia Israeli you are going to destroy their fortified cities utaua vijana wao wanawake walio na mimba utakuwa unawararua tumbo zao unatoa watoto Hazael akauliza itakuwaje mimi ni kama tumbwa tawezaje kanaje mambo haya niweze kuyatimiza akamwambia ni kwa sababu when your master dies you are going to become the king Nataka kusema nini wapendwa? Mungu huwa anatuangalia na anaona mambo katika maisha yetu. Kuliko vile, you know, in prayer wakati Mungu anakuambia deal with a certain thing. Wacha kusema mimi napenda Mungu, mimi sina ubaya. Mungu anakujua kuliko vile unavyojijua. Mungu huu ni mfano mzuri. Kuna mambo hata Mungu wengine ameondoa katika maisha yetu kwa sababu anajua ya kija yatakuwa kikwazo. Tutaleta aibu. Kuna mambo hatujashughulikia ndani yetu na Mungu anajua huyu ni kimuinua aibu ili atakayoniletea haina kipimo. And this is a time that we need to go before the Lord and just allow the Lord to search our hearts and to prepare us for the lesser that is ahead of us. Let's rise up on our feet. Uh, those who are watching the church without walls, uh, can you speak to God uh, and tell God, uh, I desire to be steadfast uh, in this lesser. Mwambie Bwana natamani kusimama katika hizi mbio. Just speak to God uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Mwambie Bwana wanijua viema. Wanijua viema. Wajua uzito nimebeba. Wajua mambo ya liyo dani yangu. Diyo Daudi alimpenda mungu. Lakini kulikuwa na dhambi ya kumzinga kwa kwa upesi si umwambie bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo nisaidie katika hizi mbio help me in this lesser help me in this lesser my salvation is nearer than when i believed than when i believed than when i believed than when i believed speak to god speak to god speak to god until god i desire to be steadfast in the lesser in the mighty name of jesus mwambie bwana kama kuna mambo ambayo sijui katika maisha yangu ambayo yamekuwa yanazuilia mfalme Mungu wa rehema uniinue unibariki 
Uniingize to my prophetic destiny. Usibadilishe my prophetic destiny. Usibadilishe prophetic destiny ya huduma hii bwana. Usibadilishe prophetic destiny ya Nakuru, ya Kenya. Ninakuomba that our prophetic destiny we will remain. Mwambie bwana, I pray for my prophetic destiny that whatever can hinder my prophetic destiny, Lord I surrender. I surrender. Whatever can hinder me to become all that you wanted me to be. Wengine Mungu alisema you become a financier. That is a prophetic destiny ambayo Mungu alinena. Lakini kuna tamaa. Lakini kuna mambo katika maisha yako yanaweza zuiria lile neno likatimia. Yanaweza zuiria hata kama ni Bwana amenena, hata kama ni Jehovah amekusudia. Kila baganda baboshi naomba neno hili liwe kiburudisho liwe kama maji baridi umemwagiliwa yatakusaidia kuendelea katika hii safari kila baganda bashanda reka baganda bashanda baganda i am in the lisa to my destiny reka baganda bashanda baganda reka baganda bashia rabaganda i am going to endure i am going to endure may god give me the ability to endure. It is a processor. Some of you are losing the strength to endure you are losing your endurance it is a processor reka baganda bashanda reka baganda ribazaya it is a, a difficult processor but god is able to give you the strength reka baganda bashanda reka baganda bashanda reka baganda bashanda Somebody pray for your prophetic destiny and tell God, uh, don't change my prophetic destiny. Change me. Change my heart. Uh, whatever is not of you in me, let it be uprooted today. In the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever is moving me away from you. I bring down every waiter. Kwazwa. Na hujaweza kuachiria kile kikwazo kimekuwa uzito katika maisha yako ni nini hiyo what is the weight in your life oh shakaba ganda rima ondoa kila uzito reka baganda bashanda reka baganda rima zeria reka baganda bashanda thank you jesus waje tusimame nikaweze kuomba kwa sababu ya wakati wetu Neno hili ni neno ambalo lilikuja kwa moyo wangu na uzito ya kwamba we need to understand that we are in a race as believers and our salvation is nearer than when we believed kuna wengi wanazimia kuna wengi wanachoka lakini wapendwa there is a crowd of witnesses wengine walienda mbele yetu wengine wako Unasema kama fulani bado anaendelea kama amesimama kama anamtafuta Mungu hata mimi nitaendelea kutafuta huyu Mungu si Mungu akusaidie si Mungu akusaidie kuweka kila uzito chini angalia maisha yako wengine pengine ulikwazo hata katika nyumba ya Bwana wengine expectation zako kwa watu kwa Mungu unaona hazijaweza kufikia na jambo lile limekuwa a weight in your life si uangalie every waiter siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu si uangalie the sin that entangles ni dhambi gani hutoa kichwa hata kama huwa inatoa baada ya muda mrefu si uishughulikie si Mungu anaweza kukuangalia na sema huyu nikimuinua kabla hajashughulikia hili jambo litakuwa kikwazo katika maisha yake Mungu huwa anatuona anaona mbele Yesu aliangalia Jerusalem akalia machozi kwa sababu aliona mambo yale yatapata Jerusalem vile vile tu Elisha alivyomwangalia Hazael na akajua huyu uharibifu ule atakaoleta hata kama Elisha alikuwa na fulfill the prophetic mandate aliyokuwa amepatiwa na Elijah lakini akajua Hazael 
mambo yale matukio yale yatafanya sio ya kawaida si Mungu aweze kutusaidia kuendelea kushughulikia mioyo yetu ina transformation in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty i pray that none of you is going to be disqualified in this race i pray that none of you is going to grow weary in the mighty name of Jesus as we prepare for the 2021 prayer festivals beginning from March i pray that you are going to pray with even more intensity i pray that there is going to be more dedication hakuna atakaye choka wapendwa bio hii this race is marathon it is a long distance laser hauwezi anza kukimbia alafu umekaa chini wapendwa hatuwezi kusema tumeomba sana ya kwamba sasa hatuhitaji kuomba vile unavyoendelea kukaribia mbio kumalizia hivyo ndivyo unaweka bidii na simwambia bwana si unisaidie kuweka bidii isiwe ni kama wakati wa Ezekaya kuna mambo unataka yazaliwe but there is no power to push power to push and to bring further that we which God desires inua mikono yako na ninapoomba naomba Mungu aguze kila moja wale mko hapa ndani wale mko kwa overflows wale mko kwa church without walls nataka kuombea mmoja mimi nasikia ni kama ndiyo mwaka unataka kuanza kwa sababu nasikia nataka kuingia katika hizi mbio mwaka wa 2021 sitachoka 2021 sitazimia 2021 i'll be focused more than ever before i am not confused i know where i'm coming from i know where i am going i am straining forward in the mighty name of jesus oh my god receive most the bible says uh, shake a baganda for there is a river that makes glad uh, the city of our god uh, may the river flow in the mighty name of jesus uh, into your life uh, that rivers of living waters uh, will flow from your belly you are not going to grow dry in the mighty name of jesus uh, in the mighty name of jesus uh, shaka baganda baburia hiyo mikono yote iliyo inuliwa si upokee neema ya mwaka huu ya kuendelea katika mbio hatukuachi 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 pokea neema wewe unayesikia mambo mengi ya kuku, ya kukuzuilia na kukuondoa receive the grace reka baganda wengine mnataka kuchoka lakini ndio wokovu wenu umekaribia mumekaribia the finishing marker mumekaribia kuingia katika ushindi mumekaribia kuzama kusudi ya Mungu na umeanza kuchoka na umeanza kuzimia i rebuke every power of the enemy i rebuke every waiter in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Yes kila uzito adui amekuletea hesha kabaganda reka baganda every demonic strategy ya kutuwekea uzito tushindwe kuendelea na hizi mbio tunakataa hatutaangalia reka baganda mashanda mambo yale tumepoteza tunajua Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa urejesho hatutaangalia reka baganda rima maisha ya watu wa dunia na kujifananisha na wao we are in a different race reka baganda bazia reka baganda rima zeria receive the grace you need receive the grace you need wengine walikuwa wamekaa chini wengine wanasikia kurara but wake up from your slumber wake up from your slumber wake up from your spiritual slumber oh shakaba gana wale walikuwa nasikia kama watarara oh my god pokea hiyo neema pokea hiyo neema pokea hiyo neema hautarara hautarara kwa neno hautarara kwa maombi hautarara kwa utakatifu hautarara kwa kutena mema wewe pokea nguvu mpya pokea nguvu mpya Unashindwa namna gani wakati umekaribia kufika wakati umekaribia kuona ushindi wa Bwana wokovu wetu umekaribia revival ambayo tumekuwa tukiiombea imekaribia zaidi oh my god pokea neema unayohitaji reka baganda can you make a declaration in the presence of god that i'll continue with the race to my destiny to my prophetic destiny mwambie bwana usibadilishe tabia yangu usingizi wangu usifanye unibadilishie usitubadilishie kama kanisa kile ulikusudia kufanya na madhabahu haya bwana 
usibadilishe tutasimama tutasimama not by might not by power but by your spirit our prophetic destiny as our ministry as a ministry in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we will stand oh kuna watu wameshukiwa na nguvu za Mungu kuna watu Mungu amekuja kuwaburudisha ili waweze kuendelea ili waweze kuendelea receive the touch receive the touch receive the touch wengine mlikuwa muondolewe katika hizi mbio mwaka huu lakini yeye utaondolewa na kurudisha ndani kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu na kurudisha ndani hayo mawazo ya kukuondoa hizo nguvu za kukuondoa i rebuke those powers hizo nguvu za kufanya ukae chini hautakaa chini wewe tutaendelea na wewe he shaka baganda tutaendelea tutaendelea tumetoka mbali wapendwa wokovu wetu umekaribia hey 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 kila baganda baboshe kila baganda there must be power to push mwaka huu ni mwaka wa kuzaa isiwe tumefika wakati wa kuzaa lakini hatuna nguvu pokea nguvu nayo itaji to push your prophetic destiny pokea nguvu nayo itaji to push to push to push hey shaka baganda reka baganda baba ninatangaza mambo yale yote ulikusudia yazaliwe mwaka huu yatazaliwa kwa sababu watu wako bwana unawapatia nguvu unawapatia neema wengine walifikiria ni mwaka jana wengine wamekuwa katika hizi mbio kwa muda mrefu lakini natangaza bwana wafanyie nguvu zao upya wacha waweze kupaa juu kama tai katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu wengine adui yamewaweka vifungo vya uovu ndani yao na unawaangalia kama Hazael na unasema huyu ni kimuinua hiki kifungo cha uovu kitaleta aibu kitamzuiria siku ya leo ninaharibu vifungo vya uovu ninaharibu vifungo vya uovu kila jambo unaloliangalia na unaona ni kizuizi cha kuinuliwa kwetu cha kubarikiwa kwetu peri ya baganda inavunja vunja wale wamekuwa mateka wa uovu wale ambao wanakupenda lakini kuna kifungo cha uovu let that yoke of the enemy be broken in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus baba katika jina la Yesu na kushukuru kwa nafasi ingine ya wiki ijayo mwezi wa march wiki ya kwanza ya kuwa na prayer festival bwana tusaidie tusizoe na tukaona ni kawaida Wacha tujue tuko katika mbio mahali tulikuwa mwaka jana sio mahali tuko mwaka huu hey wokovu wetu unakaribia tupatie neema bwana tuwapatie uwezo wa kujiandaa wiki hii ili sisi wote tukaweze kushiriki ninachukua nguvu na mamlaka ya kukomishoni watu wako katika mbio za mwaka wa 2021 kutoka madhabahu haya ninasema hawa watazimia hawa hawatashindwa I commission you that you're going to continue with the race to your prophetic destiny in the year 2021. I commission you that you're going to bring forth the purposes of God. You're going to push na utazaa makusudi ya Mungu. Nani anasema bio za mwaka wa 2021 nitaendelea kuomba nitaendelea kufunga nitaendelea kutakatifu nitaendelea he kutumikia Mungu nitaendelea kujitolea ha shaka baganda sitachoka i commission you today from this exalted altar i commission you for the lesa of the year 2021 wewe hautashindwa wewe hautazimia i commission you i release the grace that you need in the name of jesus i commission you for the race as a believer of the year 2021 in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen
receive the grace. Somebody declare, I am in the race to my prophetic destiny. In the year 2021, I receive the strength. I receive the wisdom to deal with every weight and every sinner. Somebody declare, I am in the race to my prophetic destiny. In the year 2021, I'm not going to be disqualified. I'm not going to grow airy. I'm not sitting down. I am not lying down. I have woken up from my slumber and I will continue with the race to my destiny in this decade. In the name of Jesus, not by might, not by power, but by your spirit. Can I hear a shout of victory? We are. Shaka mahali umefika. That is why you hear me say, Hapa sio mwisho wetu. Katika hizi mbio, haijarishi mahali umefika. Hapa sio mwisho wako. Pokea neema ya kuendelea. Katika jina la Yesu. As a ministry, ninatangaza hapa sio mwisho wetu. Tutaendelea in the year 2021. We are still in the race. And I pray that God is not going to disqualify us because of our character. You know, character sometimes may denote some negative things, but it also denote uh, your inability to meet uh, the threshold for the qualification required. So character inaweza kumaanisha nilikuwa nataka niwatumie kwa njia hii lakini kwa sababu mimi ni kanisa ambalo halipendi utakatifu halina upendo limekataa maombi kwa sababu ya hiyo tabia hamujaweza kufika threshold ya kile ambacho nitamani kufanya na, na nyinyi kwa hivyo tunatangaza even as a ministry we are going to meet the threshold of what God requires in the mighty name of Jesus, so that you are not going to miss uh, on our prophetic destiny in Jesus' name. That is my prayer. And as we prepare for the prayer week, for the prayer festival in the first week of March, I pray that more grace will be upon all of us that we are going to pray with even more intensity than we did uh, last year. May God bless you. Take your seats in Jesus' name as we come to the end of this service. Yes, you can give the Lord a crap of offering for ministering to us. You are there and you are saying, I want to be in this list. I have not given my life to Jesus. Inside here, uh, overflows, church without walls. You are saying, I want to join this list. Praise the name of the living God. I want to join. You know, our list is better than those who are out there. I pity them. Because whatever they do, it will end in the grave. Unakuta mtu wakona utajiri na mali katika maisha haya. Tukua tunaongea wiki iju ya tajiri moja katika inchi hii ya likufa. Billionaire. Lakini ukiangalia jamii yake vile imeenda. Ye mwenyewe haku jitolea kwa mungu. Paka unaona kama binguni watu upatiwa baiskeli. Pengine kama meenderea sana awe binguni ya mepatiwa baiskeli. Because hakuweza hata kuinvest. Hakujua ako katika mbiyo gani. And that is why I said, sometimes mimi unyamaza hivi na ninasema, I know there is a great reward that is waiting for me. And I pray that God will help me to remain consistent in my race in Jesus' name. May God bless you. And that is my prayer for you also. Those who want to give your life to Jesus, inuwa mkona wako, unasema I want to join the race. You are here, overflow. Thank you. Out there, church without walls, you want to join the race? This is a race for believers, for them that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Put your faith in him and he'll save you tonight. Inuwa mkono wako, sema buwana Yesu, siku ya leo, nakupa maisha yangu, na amini ulikufa msalabani kwa ajiri yangu. Damu yako siku ya leo inisafishe, unisamee dhambi na makosa mbao nimekufanyia. Pokea maisha yangu, unisaidie, ni kutumikie siku zote za maisha yangu. Baba naombea wale watu wameomba hilo ombi. May you 
release your spirit upon them, even the spirit of sonship, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you may cause them to become your children in the name of Jesus and cause them to be partakers of your grace and join the race that we are in as believers in this life. I bless your name for every soul that you have saved today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mungu wabariki. Wale wote wame omba hilo ombi, please, toka kwa kiti chako, telemuka pare kwa Victor's Chapel, utakutana wachunga jiwetu pare. You can do that right away. Oh, Levin Washira niambia ni kwa hema. Wacha tuende pare inje kwa hema na mungu atatubariki. Can we worship God with our offerings as I invite the worship team? Paul said, I'm looking for what that can be credited into your account. We are in a list and everything that you give in the name of the Lord is credited to your account. Your offering may leave your hands, but it will never leave your life. Utakuja kushanga, sadaka zire zote ambazo ulitoa, zote zili nakiriwa, zikawe kwa hesabu, na zika contribute kwa thawabu yako utakayo pewa binguni. Baba naombea dhabihu na matoleo na sadaka za ibada katika ibada hii. Naomba ubaliki wale wote wanao toa na kuheshimu na mali yao. Wale wote mfalme wameagana na wewe katika maisha yao ya mali. Wasaidie. Na wanapo team mfalme Mungu alehema, you keep your covenant for a thousand generations. Na wewe uwabariki na uwatende mema. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you, ushers are doing a good job. Wana tusaidia. Video tunaweza kujitolea wale tuko hapa ndani. Wale tuko kule inja. Na pengine if you want to give through the Mpesa platform, use our pay bill numbers 807101 and 807100. 807101 and 807100. Tunaweza Nine double four triple four zero seven eleven one twelve one twelve Ama zero seven zero six twenty six twenty six twenty six zero seven zero six twenty six twenty six twenty six Um Ningependa Kusema Tunapo Toa Sadaka Zetu Yakwamba Tare Sade Tare Saba we are going to launch our youth service. Na pia tutakuwa pia na graduation ya wale ambao wamekuwa katika class ya discipleship na wamemaliza. They will be able to graduate that day. We'll be able also to pray and to commission them in Jesus' name. Hii wiki, tutendea na our services, uh, morning, lunch hour. Tuko na evening service. Don't miss saa tisa, mpaka saa kumina moja. And I pray that we are going to maintain the momentum, not even maintaining that God will give us grace even to go a little bit more faster because our salvation is nearer. So pray that God is going to help you this week as we prepare for the other week or first week of March when we are going to have an intensive uh, time of prayer and teaching. Kuna mambo mengi Mungu amenisaidia ambayo yanaweza kutusaidia how to align ourselves with God. Now there is a way you can align yourself with God kama vile nimesema. Uendele bila obstacles na limitations katika maisha yako. Na kwa hivyo it will be a week of divine alignment, praying and teaching on the same so you're going to learn a lot. And I love it when especially you are praying and fasting, when a, a message comes and you pray, you feel that you have been able to receive because your faith now due to fasting is sharp in the spirit and you are able to connect with the word of God Israel and you can be able to receive the blessing they are of. So itakuwa ni wakati, I'm expecting by the end of the week, the first week of March, there will be a lot of divine alignment for many destinies here and them that will be following this uh, season of prayer. Because of this 
strategic uh, time uh, we are living in, there is something great that God desires to do through them that are going to totally align themselves with him. Na mambo mengine sio mambo mageni ni mambo pengine umekuwa ukifanya lakini mambo mengine atakusaidia kujua ya kwamba this is how somebody aligns themselves with God. Let's uh, rise up as we invite the worship team to help us in worship as we come to the end tutauliza watu wa first gallery kule juu waanze kutoka and then we are going to follow with the second gallery wale wako hapa we are going to use mirango tofauti ambayo tumko provided nae na tumemaliza ibada yetu naona mmekaa ni kama hatujamaliza ni kama ndio mnataka tuanze lakini god bless you go and meditate at home or you can wait for the next service if you don't come here physically connect with the service at home and god will bless you in jesus name let's rise up as we worship tukubalie the second gallery watoke and then hapa chini tutaanza kutoka mungu wabariki as you prepare the lobby with you in jesus name
see you, my redeemer. Until I see the one who died for me, I will never lose my way. Cause I'm in the race to my destiny. Until I see you, my redeemer. Till I see the one who died for me. Yeah. 